probably seen the headlines. My side hustle pays the rent, or I left my day job for my side hustle. With prices on the rise, many people are looking for new ways to make ends meet. So News Center 7's Taylor Robertson wanted to know if these side hustles were hustles themselves and see if there are legit, legitimate ways to pad your paycheck. The bills were piling up and, you know, I think he saw me stressing a lot. So. For many, like Ashley Washington, this shows a sign of the times. Trying to figure out how to pay bills when you live paycheck to paycheck. And more people look for side hustles to cover the cost of living. A lot of it comes down to skills. What are you good at that you can convince others to pay for? According to Forbes, freelancing with those skills is the top side hustle option. The reason? You can take on as many projects as your time allows, even if you're just doing it in your spare time. Graphic designers, writers, and editors are in high demand, according to Forbes. Other classics like pet sitting and dog walking are other popular side hustles that don't require specialized skills. For Washington's son, it's mowing the lawn. I prefer to work over anything, and then like, especially when it's something I like doing. At just 15 years old, Isaiah Washington started knocking on doors with his friends, hoping someone would pay them. He was walking all over Huber Heights with this stuff. But things changed for Isaiah in July of 2022 when a man saw him pushing his lawnmower down the sidewalk. The man asked if he could take a picture and post it to social media to spread the word about Isaiah's lawn work. His mom initially was hesitant. I was at the grocery store and he called me and he said, this crazy man uh, is taking pictures of me and he wants to buy me something. And I said, run. But she agreed to let him create a GoFundMe for Isaiah to help him buy a new lawnmower, pay to get his license, and save up for a truck. I think that same night, 10 people text me. I was confused, I didn't know what was going on. But like after that, the phone was ringing constantly and more and more business has expanded a lot. For him to be so young to be doing as much as he do, I feel like I wish he didn't have to have so much responsibility. Early last year, um, I started losing my vision. Um, I'm a diabetic. Uh, early 2023 is when my vision in my right eye completely left. And I had a procedure done to try to save my left eye and it didn't go as planned. With her going blind, Isaiah knew he had to become even more serious about his lawn care. He would come back, uh, how much is this and how much is that? Oh, well, here's this and here's that. And I'm sorry. It was so, it's hard because he had to take on that responsibility of helping me to and from the doctor, um, sitting with me through surgeries, um, basically giving up his life, uh, you know. On top of him caring for his mom, his side hustle, and his other part-time job at Walmart. Like I said, school's first priority. While Isaiah is in a good spot, the Better Business Bureau says you need to be careful when looking for the right side hustle. There are a lot of scammers out there that want to take advantage of our desire for that side hustle. A few basics. Screen anyone you plan to work for. Research side gigs before applying never pay to work, and get all the details in writing. Sounds too good to be true. It probably is. Isaiah told me one day he hopes his lawn care side hustle will become his full-time focus. I'm still trying to figure things out. Reporting in Huber Heights, Taylor Robertson, News Center 7.